I miss you when I need you, need you Girl, I'm happy when I see you, see you All these girls, they wanna be you, be you But I just wanna please Somebody open the door. I don't think I'm ready for you. You have to be ready. Just be ready. Like, damn. Yeah. She come to her house, be ready. That's your daughter. Like, huh? That's your kid. Why are you not going to be ready? That's your daughter. Like, you guys got to fix this. Okay. What's going on? Okay. So, I'm, I will advise, hey, Kenny, I advise you over here. To have a conversation. I don't know. Can I sit closer? I don't want to like. Yeah. Okay. No, you can't. I don't know something. I invited you over here because I just feel like y'all y'all got too much going on, and it's too much in the middle of I don't know. Y'all mother and daughter, you gotta work this out. You haven't been in it over here in a long time. You haven't been around in a long time, and it's it's coming to a head. You know. And I know your mother needs you just like you need her. So I need y'all to just have a conversation about it. Like, if y'all have a simple conversation and, and nobody, you know what I'm saying, over talk anybody, just kind of talk about what what's going on and where y'all at right now. Can, can you can you just open your heart, Kenny? Can you? I can just say how I feel about everything, but I just don't want her to just get, like, Offended on what I say because like with the whole situation I already happened before this this whole thing happened because I was speaking my mind And she just got offended, you know automatically what I said So Charlene you have to be able to open your heart and listen to what she's saying and not get offended Let her talk let her speak and then you can speak If you okay, okay. So okay. so just I guess just um, I just feel like the whole situation that went down between me and you first of all should have never happened. And I feel like at the end of the day, I'm still I'm still your child and I should have respect for you, but I feel like you need Absolutely. to have respect for me too because I'm getting older and we're just we're becoming two, two adults. And just the whole thing of like at the end of the day, this is YouTube stuff. It's YouTube stuff. You should never let YouTube stuff get in between me and you in a hard relationship and stuff. I just feel like that's what happened. And like even though with these kids, they still in my they, they still be in my comments. Oh, I'm surprised her mom is not. Da 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 da. And it's because we made this image as like you know because you are an overprotective mom. And if I do certain things, you're like okay, you know, huh? and you're just like that with Michelle and Frank and everybody. But at the end of the day, I don't want you to go out as a certain a certain look on social media. Charlene. Okay. Wow. No, I'm saying I was, I'm just saying. When I I never know, but I understand. Okay, I understand. No, like we just, just always like, went over this shit. No. Like you, the first thing you say is I don't give a. F no, she's saying like okay, she doesn't care what other people say. But at the end of the day, if I'm on social media, nobody mm -hmm. wants to hear something bad. Like somebody. If you love me and I love you, right? You wouldn't want to see somebody say something neg negative about me on social media, right? No. And I will, I don't want to see that either. So if I look at my comments, everybody's talking about you, like King's mom, and blah, blah, blah. like it's it, it's like annoying to me. And it's like okay, when it came down to it, at the end of the day, I'm 18. This year I'm gonna be 19, and I want a Verizon. That everything boiled down to something because I said I want a Verizon my way of content and you know you just didn't like that and it's understandable because you're my mom and like i don't want to see you shaking your butt and you being a certain type of way and that's 100 percent okay i understand that but i'm gonna do me at the end of the day if that's trending and i want to do it i want to try it see how it works on my page i just want to try it um, I mean, at the end of the day, like you said, you get older. We both had time to like think about, you know, different things. Um, it's just a lot. I don't know. It's just a lot. But I don't want it to affect. At the end of the day, I don't want it to affect our relationship. No, I didn't. Yeah. I didn't want it to affect our relationship either. But it's like, like I don't know. I don't want to get like emotional or whatever. But it's like. At the end of the day, you are my mom. 
and I don't want certain things to happen and then like I couldn't come see my siblings and stuff because I didn't want certain things happening like if I come over here and me and you were going back and forth you're gonna talk to me and then I, I don't want us to keep going back and forth and in the same thing and it's like I felt like I was just a little bit separated and the only person I was able to talk to was auntie because then at the end of the day she was the, the middleman the only way I could communicate to you because I'm not a good communicator the only way I was able to go to is I, I was able to talk to auntie and I'm like hey Da, 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 da. And she's like, I know, Katie, you know, I know, like, it's the thing that I just, I think y'all need to give it time. Mm -hmm. And I understand about that. But nobody, like, I'm the type of person, like, I, I grew up with just y'all. So it's like, well, one day without speaking to y'all, one day without being around y'all, it's just like, it's hard on my heart. I mean, that's the same thing for me, Katie. It's just, it's just a lot, you know, you can explain to me and tell me how <clears throat> basically a teenager or how it's supposed to be, right? I didn't have to, it's different with you. With Andrea and Dre, Dre was like 16 when he started dating. You know what I'm saying? His first girlfriend. Things is so different. So it's like really hard for me to change and see like, okay, <clears throat> don't be the overprotective mom or don't be like this. This is really who I am as a person. So it was really, really hard to like, see him like, all right, Katie, when well, you turn 18, that's it. I'm from a different era. I'm from LA, we don't do that. That's not how we do it. Like our parents, we, we, we really like that. We don't let our kids just go out to parties and let our kids go down the street. Let us, we don't do none of that. This is not how I was raised. So it's really hard to open up and say, okay, look, okay, well, go be over Monty house or you can go over there. You know what I'm saying? Adrienne, she couldn't even wear hoop earrings. I go went straight to the store. I mean, not to the store. I went straight to the damn high school and beat her up. Ask Shailani. Like, it was crazy. So at the end of the day, it's a little bit different. And this is something new. You know what I'm saying? Just like how I got to sit here and try to understand you. Just try to understand me. I think the more we take our time with each other, then things will be better. We got to try to understand each other. Like I said, I'm going to respect your space. And understand, okay, you are getting older, and I gotta let you grow as a young lady. And that's it. That's bank, that's bottom line, that's how I'm gonna do. So you don't feel like you owe me an apology? Wait, what? Are you crazy? What? She just came out like what? Because listen to the you're not listening, you just listen to that part. It's okay, you gotta fuck. Oh, you apology for what? Because you said some disrespectful things. And you said some disrespectful things. But at the end of the day, you're the mother. And at the end of the day, yes, I am. And so you, automatically, you should automatically, you, automatically you should apologize for it. For what? For the disrespectful things you said. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know what to say. See, I can't talk to her. This, this, like, okay, no, we're going on. No, you're going to take that for you. I'll be taking no. that for you for looking for you. No, like, bro, okay, right I understand. Okay, I'm going to come on. Your space. I, I understand that, but what I'm saying. Why are you laughing? Okay, we come up in a conversation. Okay, cool. We come up in a conversation. But then I'm saying, like, okay, you don't feel like you owe me an apology? All right, all you got to say is, I feel like um, you feel like you don't owe me an apology. No, I don't feel like you owe me an apology. Or you, I don't know how to explain it, but if we both don't feel like we owe each other an apology, then we just be like, okay, we can agree to disagree. You're like, <laughs> okay, <we're, laughs> that's you being petty. Okay, you know what? I apologize, but I don't know why I'm apologizing. I just said that you said something disrespectful. That oh, you've okay. been saying something dis disrespectful. Say, you and then like on social media, you feel like you're not saying nothing. That's that's like um. I didn't do nothing. I didn't say, Mom, but you're, no, you were doing stuff that's subliminals. You don't feel like you were doing something do subliminals. subliminals. Mom, no. I'm telling you, you were, though. What was I doing subliminals? Because trust me, if I got a problem, I go straight to the person. No. I'm not, I don't do that. No, you felt like that because we was mad at each other. So no matter what I post or whatever I do, you're going to feel like, oh, she's talking about me. Or she's and you're done. And you did that's true. Shame the devil. Excuse me. Can't be one side. You can't say that. You, and you felt that. Everything she posted. You thought, oh, it was a subliminal message. I mean, at the end of the day. <clears throat> I'm 
I love you. And I apologize for saying some disrespectful stuff to you. Why <laughs> are you finna laugh? You know, you're not even genuine with it because you're finna laugh. No, I am. No. Look, I can't even take a drink. I'm saying I apologize for saying some disrespectful stuff to you. But I feel like I was attacked, so I retaliated. Why did you feel like so you was attacked? No, I'm just saying. I feel How like do you feel like you're attacked from your own daughter? Bitch, my daughter be the main one. They try to put a fucking pillow up your head while you're on the bed. What are you talking about? <laughs> you got a kid. You can't, have, you can't even have a real conversation with her because you're too busy trying to make something jokey. No, I'm not trying to make it jokey. So what I'm telling you. What I'm sitting here telling you is I don't like to apologize to someone I really don't know I apologize to. You said something that's disrespectful. Okay, so you say, okay, I apologize. Okay, and I can apologize if you feel like I said something disrespectful to yeah, you. Yeah, but I feel like at the same time we have to respect each other. And like you said, respect each other's space. Well, actually, I'm respecting your space. And then I don't do nothing. So I basically... How are you going to say you don't do nothing? What do I do? I'm talking about like being with a man or a boy. Oh, yeah. I'm trying to respect y'all relationship and respect your space as y'all both are grown. I was around him since he was a kid. So basically respect y'all relationship and let y'all be, let y'all grow together. You see what I'm saying? And you call me only if you need me or something like that. But that's it. It's not a, like nothing is my business. You know what I'm saying? All I say is still like, just, you know, go live your life, girl. Just respect what I, you know what I'm saying? Knowing that, okay, well, my mom could be looking. That's all I'm saying. Just give me some type of, whew, give me some type of respect, man. Because some stuff be getting out of hand. Not you. You just don't watch the video. No, I won't either. If you watch the video, you'll be like, oh, this is not even bad. Yeah, but I, I don't want to. It's because you see the thumbnail, and it's not even bad. But the reality is but you're always welcome to come over here. You know I love you. You smell good. That's my first time kissing you. Ew. I'm just fucking. But do you feel like, okay, so are you on the same track as if we do videos wise, do you think that we're gonna be on the same point when it comes down to it? And whatever, like even if I'm doing videos with you and I say we do a rating alpha video, you can't just go berserk like you used to. So we back on the right now, Pitts. I'm asking. So you want me to be somebody I'm not? No, I'm not saying you to be somebody. You're talking about respect. I'm some saying, of the stuff like, that you like to I'm wear. saying. Chris, are you going to respect? What? It's on my body. How can you. No, man, I'm saying. See, now we're just about to go somewhere else. I'm saying, so how I'm can like, you. I'm going to go ahead and just be quiet. I'm saying, if it's on my body, you can't. Don't do that. I'm saying if we do a written office video, at the end of the day, if I do a written office video with you and then I do a written office video with Monty and me and Monty's is way different, you can't call me up, hey, why are you doing this, da 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 That's not your job. That's my job. That's the thing you also felt at. It's like when you, you be trying to be mom and manager. You're not even my manager. You don't have that role. At all. That's what made, but this is what made us all fall. Okay. Okay, I respect that. You're laughing. No, because I'm saying I respect. No, right? Because I'm laughing. You know why? Because you know it's true. it's true. It's true. It's true. I respect it. You respect it? No, I really do. I respect it. I respect it. That's why I do this. But do you understand? No, I do understand. Oh. So. Y'all, I guess we're going to be giving you guys some videos. Um, make sure you tell, if y'all want different content and y'all want to know some more other things, make sure you tell us down in the description. Make sure you follow her on all of her platforms. And, yeah. Because y'all already know I'm about to give it to you real. Sure. No, this is not no fucking but you think that's what it is. Why would you say <laughs> that? This is not this is fucking that she says that. You're they're gonna goofy. think that you're drunk. They're gonna think you're drunk. Oh my god. This, this, this is the stuff that she says. This went all the way there. She's gonna be freaking annoying. Like, why would you say that? The, you talking about, you care about what I say? You somebody you care about what I say? We'll wait for another video for that. 
She worried about what I say. Are you drunk? What about what she do? Huh? Are you drunk? You expect me to be cool? I let, but okay, you know what? We're going to be I drunk. Let's talk over one person and don't do with a thousand different people. The fuck all that? So I do this shit with a thousand people? I didn't say that. So why would you say that? They say worrying about what I say and what I do. I'm saying at least I do it with the same person okay, other than going to different people. No, you're right. Are no, she Are right. Are you drunk? She right. Are you high? You right. You been sniffing alcohol? Don't you do with one person. You can go ahead and just do it. Look, you been sniffing alcohol? No. Mm -mm. All right, so that's what it is. We had our combo, and it's good. I respect it. So can you respect her? No, I do. I respect the thing. Why do you say no? I guess you no, say yeah. But you do no. no, I do. No, I do. Oh, I put, that's how I yes, talk. Yes, I can You want to beat somebody on that? Yes, I can respect it. You respect her. I Huh? You gotta fix your grammar. Girl, please, I'm mixed. You respect her relationship. <laughs> do you respect her? Oh, of course I do. Uh -huh. Of course I do. That's one thing I, I can say from my from my soul. I swear. But that's why we took a break. It's been it's been a long journey. It's been for like probably almost eight months. It's been eight long. months. So guess what? <laughs> <laughs> Stay tuned. So we're gonna be doing the way different. I'm gonna be showing y'all my So we come back, we're gonna come back better, more mature, stronger, stronger, stronger in a better relationship. And, and like better. Get in the middle of our relationship. That's true. And better. And in contracts. <laughs> Why are you saying stuff like that? This shit made me gay way. Girl, I'm done. Who said that? Y'all, make sure you like what you got with that bill. If you want more videos from me. Like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell. <laughs> I miss you when I need you, need you. Girl, I'm happy when I see you, see you. All these girls, they want to be.